Stephanie Weaver says the cleanup may take some time. One of the big concerns here at the Nogales wash are these panels, which have the ability to slip down and puncture the sewage line underneath. Now, as you can see behind me, those panels slipped down yesterday during the storms and that created damage. According to Nogales Police Department, the only reported damage from Thursday's flash floods was at the Nogales wash. Crews were out with heavy equipment, tearing down trees and breaking down slabs of siding that slid into the flowing water. Jesus Valdez with Santa Cruz Flood Control says a panel from the wash failed and two others are being compromised. So right now what we're currently doing is looking, removing some debris that could possibly clog bridges downstream. Some residents and workers in Nogales are frustrated by this ongoing problem. This should have been taken care of years ago. They, it seems to me like they're just dragging their feet, if you will. I know it costs money to do this, but this is kind of an emergency situation. And if the sewage line is punctured, it could lead to sewage ending up in the Santa Cruz River. Right now, it's really hard to determine what's been punctured or if, or if any of the line channel has been uh, broken up. But we're, we're going to wait for the waters to recede so we can really find out what's going on. And of course, with any flash flood watch or warning, it is imperative that you turn around, don't drown. Reporting from Nogales, Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson. Our 